Hi guys, welcome back. We'll have a look at Face to Face by Juice Wall, and I'm really sorry. I really want to apologize firstly for being late with this one. Uh, but since I'm back right now, I'll show you guys exactly how to play the song. We have this nice little riff. If you guys don't know, I have covered plenty of Juice Wall song. I think I am. I have the most number of Juice Wall uh, videos out there. I'm pretty sure about it. Never mind. Let's have a look at the song. We have like three chords for the whole song. I just repeat, so it's without a keyboard, it's in the standard tuning. Make sure you grab a plectrum and uh, let's get started. So it's basically based on the E minor chord of the starting. And this is the voice which we're gonna be using. If you wanna know the chord, it's basically barring the seventh fret, eight fret on B, nine fret on D and G. Now what I'm doing for this song is I'm going, I'm simply RPGing the chord. I'm going seven on E, D9, then I pull off from 8 to 7 on the B string. Then I'm playing 7 on the G string, minor 7. And then I'm playing D9. So we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Down, down, up, up, down. And then I repeat the exact same thing again. So we got. But I stop on the 7th fret of the G string and I don't play the 9th fret on the G string. So we got. Then I hold the B minor bar chord. I bar the whole 7th fret. I have 9th fret on the E string. I got the pinky on B10 for this chord. So I strum down, up, down. Strumming the full chord. Just like that. We got. When I go to the A major chord, I have 5th fret on B, 6th fret on G, 7th fret on D, and I do this. I mainly hit the D, G, B string, I go for a down stroke. Then I hit 5th, uh, I'm sorry, 6th fret on the G string, and then I hit 7th fret on the G string. So, so la, da, da, I'm going down, up, down. The second time we do the exact same thing, but instead of playing this B minor seven, we won't be using the pinky to play B ten. What we'll do is we'll play it down, just one dance on the B minor chord, and then we'll do this. I'll play seven, and then nine on the G string, and then the same thing on the A major chord. Bum, six, seven on the G string. So we got da la da, bum ba dum. That's it. So. When you put it all together, this is how it should sound like. One, two, three, four. That's the whole song guys, that just repeats throughout. If you want to know the easy chords, those are E minor. Then we have a B minor. E minor is open, second, second, open, open, open. B minor is mute, two, four, four, three, two. And then we have A major, which is mute, open, second, 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 open. The song has E minor, E minor, B minor, A. So you can play the chord shapes like that. Down, 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 so down, up, up, down. Why would you play that when you have this nice little riff? Just leave that behind and play the normal riff. I hope the video helped you guys. Let me know what other song you want to learn. If you guys haven't yet subscribed, you do so for more accurate and the easiest lessons out there. I'll see you guys back in the next video. Bye.